it too like a young O'Shea with an AK. Okay, don't you tell these motherfuckers that my name is O'Shea. Hey, it's the Nation of Podcation Daily Podcast. I'm O'Shea. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram at the real underscore O Barber brand and at Nation of Podcation on Instagram and TikTok. Hip hop superstar and former Saint Lunatic Murphy Lee gives his thoughts and reactions to Nelly saying that the Saint Lunatics are a financial liability and he doesn't need them to make his money. Now, as we all know, Nelly and the Saint Lunatics grew up together. They took over hip hop in the year 2000. And in the year 2000, Nelly and the Saint Lunatics took over with Nelly's album Country Grammar, the Saint Lunatics debut album, the next Nelly album. All of his albums featured the Saint Lunatics and they helped him create the whole St. Louis style, the whole dirty style, that all came from Nelly and the St. Lunatics. Well, Nelly said in a recent interview that he doesn't need those guys. He said that when anybody calls him to do a concert, it's for a Nelly show, not a Nelly and the St. Lunatics. So he gets the same amount of money no matter if he invites them or not. So at this point, they are a financial liability because he's got to pay for food, airfare, clothes, hotels, women, weed, all this other stuff to bring those guys on tour where he could just do it by himself, get the whole bag to himself and not have to worry about carrying his crew. Now me, I'm kind of split on that. I understand you getting your bag, but at the same time, I'm a big believer in bringing your homies up if you have a chance to. Now let's take a look at this clip from Murphy Lee as he explains the real reason why he... Well, let's take a look at this clip from Murphy Lee as he gives his reactions to Nelly's comments. Let's tune in. Or with other people, it's probably just pride only. You know what I'm saying, or give me my money and we can make something happen. You owe me something. Or I think with us, it's more of a family where people really was hurt in a certain situation and they don't know how to say, it's cool, dog. Yeah. We, we good. Bro said some shit on a, on a, on a, on a thing, like, and that's some stuff we're going to talk about one day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he said... Like, as he, he said it as if we was waiting around for him to get paid so we can get paid, and that shit hurt. All right, so there you go. You hear Murphy Lee's comments. He's basically saying there that somebody's feelings got hurt and there's some issues there that they can sit down and talk about. He, he also said that Nelly kind of misjudged the situation, saying that the St. Lunatics were sitting around waiting for him to get a bag from him. No, a lot of them were doing their own thing. Ali's got his own stuff going on. Uh, Murphy Lee had his own stuff going on. Now, did they ever get as big as Nelly? No, they didn't. But they did have their own stuff going on. And like they said, they were not sitting around just waiting for a bag from Nelly. Now, on the flip side of that, I get what Nelly's saying because there's nobody really checking for an Ali concert. There's nobody really checking for a Murphy Lee concert, especially without Nelly being involved. Nelly is the headliner. He is the group COA, center of attention. So he's the one that makes the group go around. And if he's going to break up the group, then if he's the star, the group's going to be broken up. Nation, what do you think about Murphy Lee's comments? What do you think about Nelly's comments? Would you be down to see a St. Lunatics reunion in 2024? Nation, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. Hey. O'Shea and I have been kicking it strong for a minute now. O'Shea doesn't drink. He doesn't smoke. O'Shea is a professional model. Attitude like a young O'Shea with an AK. Okay, don't you tell these motherfuckers that my name is O'Shea.